thank you everyone for joining us again for another episode of Force of Barca podcast. We're going to be talking about Madrid game, the Super Copa final, where we where Barca won three one, and it basically basically dominated from start to finish, from from beginning to end. Uh, and we'll dive deep right into it and try to talk about this and uh, what it means for the club, what it means for the season. And uh, all right, let's let's dive right into it. Mustafa, how you doing? How was your day? Absolutely Give fine. It to me. Unfortunately, I couldn't I couldn't watch live, but uh, I recapped and we talked later about the game. I'm absolutely thrilled to talk about this uh, specific match uh, and um, of course uh, about the uh, the outcome that that might possibly uh, affect uh, the the entire season, maybe even. Um, let's, get let's get started. Let's get into it. Uh, so, you want to hit us with the with the lineup? How did we line up uh, versus uh, how they lined up? Yeah, we had Ter Stegen in goal. Um, our back four were um, Balde, uh, Araujo, Christensen, and uh, Kunde. Um, with Kunde and Araujo basically switching the positions sometimes. Uh, and in midfield, we had uh, Busquets, uh, De Jong, Gavi. And up front, Pedri and uh, Lewandowski and Usman Dembele. But I think it was more Gavi uh, taking that role of uh, of the yeah. forward than, than uh, Pedri. Pedri. Yeah, Pedri. Yeah. And how, how Madrid, how did they line up? They had uh, Courtois, right, in, uh, in goal? Yeah, Courtois, Rüdiger... I think um, uh, Militao, right? Uh, Carvajal, um, Mondi uh, on the left side. Then they had Modric, Kroos, Valverde, if I'm not mistaken. And then uh, up front, Vinicius um, and Benzema. Not too sure. Uh, did I forget some somebody? I think no, I think that's one. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Yeah, they had uh, yeah Benzema and, and Vinny up top. They didn't uh, they didn't put in um, and Valverde on, on the other side. So they they had Valverde as a winger instead of uh, um, instead uh, of putting I forgot in Camavinga. I forgot Camavinga. Yeah, Camavinga in the middle. Yeah, Camavinga, Cruz, and Modric in and the middle. Basically, Valverde um, and 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 Vinicius and Benzema were Benzema. lined up as the forwards. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, the the actual from look look at it from from somebody who's who's been watching for a while. This has been a really great display throughout the whole thing. But like let's let's just talk about the first half and then we'll talk about the second half. Um, what and we we, the, we we talked about how um and when we played against Atletico, we had the four four two at some point uh, throughout the, the the first half, especially. Mm-hmm. Um, that's how we lined up. Pretty much exact, almost exactly the same as as yesterday's match, um, but the, the differences here it, it actually for the majority of the game it worked. Like we had the, dominated the midfield throughout the whole fucking game. Like they ba- we basically had uh, uh, Gavi, Pedre, Frankie de Jong, and and uh, and uh, um, Busquets. They they. The, the passes between all those guys was just phenomenal. Like they knew exactly the, what the game plan was. They they uh, they executed everything that Xavi wanted them to execute perfectly. Everything was flowing really well from back to front. Uh, what what impressed you the most in the first half? What was something that we like? Oh my god, this is this is something we haven't seen before uh, over the last year and a half. But this is refreshing to see and we hope this stays throughout the whole season well for me it was uh, like you said we had something uh similar um against atletico uh where we um, basically had um the same lineup but what impressed me uh, the most in this display uh was specifically how fluid it was it wasn't nobody was basically attached to um and, and it's difficult to to explain 
how I often criticize Xavi for his lack of tactical uh, awareness and, and fluidity and adjusting things on the fly. This time is exactly what I what I would call a masterclass in uh, in tactics. Because if you see what Madrid was doing is is uh, when they fall, uh, fell back, they had like five five uh, defenders. Um, because Valverde was, would uh, basically be, be uh, the, the right back and uh, the left back uh, would be uh, Vinicius. They all fall back. Um, and uh, Valverde, especially Valverde, was very, very deep. And when they had the ball, basically either it was Gavi or um, Frankie de Jong almost instantly putting pressure on them. And they had no um, no way to pass to uh, Kroos. That's that was basically the task because he's the one that's distributing the balls and having and having um, the vision to see space in between and make uh, Vinicius do his runs. But they they didn't even capitalize on that because even when they had space in the back, because sometimes uh, you see when Benzema fell back, he took. Uh, either Christensen or Kunde with him, because right. they were they were man guarding him, um, but and that created space in the back, which uh, they could have capitalized on. But we didn't let them even um, have that chance because uh, Araujo did an amazing job, um, absolutely uh, crushed Vinicius, um, and uh, it was it was an absolute amazing display in the first half. I gotta say that from everybody, even Busquets, and then you know I'm I'm criticizing Busquets a lot, but uh, that 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 first goal was uh, all. Him. It was him, yeah. He he went in and and tackled for it and got it back, uh, got the ball back, and that's what started it right there in their half. And that's and that's a scenario that we saw throughout the whole game is uh, we didn't even let them play. Once they got to the point where they need to put those passes together that they're they're so good at one two three four, and they're already in the other side. We 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 only saw them do uh, do that a couple times in the second half. In the first half, every time they tried to do that, Araujo would come in and just foul somebody or or, or block the pass or the same same thing with on the other side with uh, uh, with Balde. Everybody was was on them. Every time they tried to do that, we, they had two three guys on their players uh, trying to block all the passways and and block any attempts of, of dribbling that they had. Was something that. Um, literally cr- uh, made them crumble in, in, in a lot of the, those attempts to try to get to the other side. Uh, and and I, I can only guess that it's very frustrating to, to you know, if, if you're in that team that, that you're trying to create something, but it's just not happening. And it's going to create some frustration, which means mistakes, which means you're going to let uh, your focus is going to be uh, uh, not, not there hundred percent, which is exactly what Javi was counting on. Um, and I feel like that, uh, in the, especially in the first half, it worked really well. Where we, we didn't um, we didn't really have to do m- much as far as creating the the chances ourselves. They just kept giving us the ball, uh, and and we basically just passed it around and try to find the best way to get in there. Um, that's something that we really we 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 used to see that all the time when the Pep era, right? Uh, once we have the ball, we just basically pass it around you and find the way to your goal. And that's exactly what happened uh, in the first half. But one thing that you said Busquets, which played played really well in comparison with other games that he had, I still think when we have the ball, he's a liability. Mm. When and, and they and you can see that even in even yesterday's game, um, once he has the ball, two or three players of Madrid will surround him because they know he can make a mistake. Um, and he did. and made a couple mistakes passing wise. When he got the ball, he rushed a couple times and he passed it back to Madrid players. And uh, fortunately for us, our defense quickly uh, was able to either get it back or, or, or stop the counter from happening. Uh, it was something that we're not that's not going to happen every time uh, he loses the ball. So we were lucky in that regards. Uh, with that said, he was really crucial uh, when we had to press. He knew exactly when to press, when to not press, and hold back. All those come with experience, and he's a very experienced player that's been on a top level for a long time. So he knows that part of it, 
um and 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 we're grateful for that like if he wasn't there i don't think our pressing would be the same uh that effective yesterday against madrid um but yeah i think the the first half was amazing I and mean, we did uh fantastically took him apart basically we we didn't we didn't even give him a chance to to to, to attack I think the only thing that they had was that header from benzema in the, in the first half other than that they didn't really create anything um which the is first half impressive. Wasn't nearly perfect Let's be honest. Yeah. We could have yeah. we could have scored more. That's the yeah. only uh, grab that I have. Uh, yeah. That Lewandowski one was uh, brilliantly, brilliantly, brilliantly saved by uh, Courtois, uh, yeah. but uh, Balde could have done better there. Yeah. Um, um, a couple of chances. We had a couple of chances. Even in the second half, Dembele uh, was one on one against Courtois. Yeah. Could have done a little bit better than that, but uh, at the end of the day, they have a good goalkeeper, probably the best man uh, on the uh, on their side uh, last night. And I think um, we had we we saw something that 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 has been missing uh, for many games, I think, and and that's um, uh, concentration. We didn't yeah. lack concentration. If you if you wa- watch the game, they had like like a really good chance. I think it was like uh, I'm not too sure, 60th or 70th minute, something like that, where um, basically uh, Vinicius had the ball and he dribbled past some um, players, then a pass and another pass and straight to Benzema, and he was basically free to shoot. But Gavi, like the crazy maniac he is, sprinted back, took the ball basically. And uh, it, it was a, a corner, but he yeah. didn't expect even anyone to come close to him. And yeah. seeing that level of concentration and everybody, even if somebody um, makes a mistake and mistakes happen, that's how goals happen. Um, right. um, somebody is, is is coming in and 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 uh, fighting uh, against against all odds and that's something that that was basically missing this concentration level uh was absolutely peak it was peak barcelona i loved every second of it even the second half it was uh we we played a good second half and that's not always the case sometimes we have a good and a bad half this time uh, you can see the boys they wanted clearly that title they want they wanted on a new era to begin and hopefully that is that is that it is uh, a new era i hope so yeah yeah no i 100 percent agree with you i agree and, and that's uh, and you can like i said they can feel it in their uh they, they were uh, um very very aggressive in a way <laughs> every time they had the ball you could see everybody sprinting to try to get the ball away it was just something that again we haven't seen really uh that uh, uh, effectiveness in pressing in a lot of games. We saw in, in some flashes of it uh, over the last, uh, uh, the end of the last uh, season, uh, between like January now into the last, like Janu- between January and like April, I think that moment when we were winning 4-0 pretty much every, every match, that that we saw that level of, of, of concentration when it comes to pressing that was really well. Uh, we had some of it this year, f- flashes of it, but it wasn't, in, in that uh, uh, degree that we saw yesterday, uh, and I, and I really hope that that wakes up the, 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 their uh, um, their fearlessness when it comes to pressing and knowing exactly what to do because I think that comes with time, right? And comes with uh, uh, experience and what Javi's trying to instill in them. Even if they make mistakes about it, keep working on it until they get it right. Um, and and if that's if this is the the uh, the result of that, then that's fucking amazing. If we see that, we keep if we keep seeing stuff like this, it's we're gonna be really, really hard team to beat, and we're, we'll we'll basically be winning every match if we keep this level of concentration when it comes to pressing. Because I think that's that's what we're missing really is just when we lose the ball, we we don't know what the transition from from offensive to def- to, to being defensive. That was our main issue uh, over the last few games, and that's. Well, the reason why we kept getting scored on because of that that transition was is really slow from def- offensive to defensive uh so seeing that yesterday was was fucking amazing um the second half uh what did you think because i know that once and it's something that 
you see it's you, say, you can say it's normal uh, but once you st- when uh, have a, a margin of winning uh, you start to, to to not press so so much you try to to uh, uh, try to lower the temperature lower the the rhythm of the game and try to basically t- to cruise through the game until the end um was that the right decision from Xavi and the players to do you think or is it something that uh, the game that was done did that, honestly Oh, the last uh, the last ten minutes, it felt like we did not necessarily not necessarily to the point where we let go, but like we 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 the the rhythm that we were trying to attack in. Yeah, but we had we had our dropped. chances. Basically, we did, we of were, course. Yeah, we we uh, waited for our counter attacks, and Madrid knew knew that we had uh, we had the players to execute on that. So they yeah. were they were. Of course, in the last t- 10 to 15 minutes, they tried to score and maybe... Uh, go all in, try to go all in. All in and, it's, yeah. it's basically their, their, their trademark move, score two quick goals and then have, uh, like, uh, have, have the opponent doubting themselves. But I think, I think we didn't even do that, especially in the, the thing that... That's why I said I think the, the, um, the entire game was great because... The second half, we needed to put in that uh, that third one. We needed to put in that third one just to yeah. to be assured assurance. To, and, yeah. and even show Madrid uh, th- this is our game. You you only get to play if we we allow it. It's not it's not on you. And of course, Ancelotti threw in what he had, so he he basically knew he had to make some changes and. Uh, by God, Carvajal was absolutely abysmal um, yeah. uh, y- yesterday. So um, uh, they basically had only uh, that left side, which they uh, repeatedly tried to uh, come through. Um, even when they uh, threw in Rodrigo, uh, he was basically playing one-two with Vinicius on the left side because they know they had basically no chance on the right side. We had... We, we absolutely dominate that side with Balde and Christensen. And of course, Araujo and Kunde are no slouches either. And, and, and they had difficulty because of our quality. And it is what it is. Right. Nobody can tell me otherwise. And no, uh, and like I said, I didn't care about the Supercopa um, unless it's against Madrid. That's exactly what I said. That's yep. exactly what I said because a classical is El Clasico. Nobody's going to to give you that uh, win easily. Uh, they definitely didn't want to perform that bad. I can tell you that. Well, I mean, nobody wants to lose a classical. And if and if you say, "Oh, they just didn't play well," or they played, they didn't care, that's bullshit. That's just a loser mentality. They, and and if you ask any of them, any of the players, nobody would say, "Oh, this is just a bullshit game anyway." No, and, nobody and, wants and to it's lose. Not, it's not good for the mentality to lose to lose in that manner. It's not right. even to your rival about the score. Yeah. It's not even yeah to your rival, and it's not even about the score because we could we could have won like four or five one easily yeah. If, yeah. If, if we had had a little bit of luck and and uh, Courtois uh, wasn't uh, on his best day, then that would have easily gone south for them. Another humiliation. I mean, it's it is what it is, and, and I think I think for us to um, show that we can have that quality and that level of of uh, uh, that level of, of of playing and and and, and tactical awareness and, and fluidity within within uh, two halves is exactly what I needed to see, to see that they are able to do it. And that's what that's exactly what I wanted to see, and I think in the two halves, we we can we can see of course that that uh, it's something to do with physicality, something to do with with uh, uh, being smart and having having that patience to know okay we can play on the counter and we can we can uh, catch them off guard, and they knew it because. Let's be honest, Militao and Rudiger all also were not on their best day. It is uh, it, it was a difficult game for them. Um, I think I think me personally, I think um, they they will have difficulty if they are if they don't buy uh, one or two players uh, within this season because they they 
don't have that quality on their bench. Yeah, right. that, yeah, that's that's the, I think that's the the best thing we can take away. One of the best things we can take away from yesterday is that our bench, as as terrible as it was the last couple of years, <laughs> this year we're in another level, uh, uh, in in a in a good way. Uh, that just just to to to, to be able to get then bail it out and then put uh, uh, Rafinha in, which pretty much uh, uh, has uh, similar qualities when it comes to uh, uh, the 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 when, when it comes to to, to, to press the, the press that we need the, the intensity and the actual uh, uh, quickness that then Bella has Rafinha can replicate replicate that somewhat, but the 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 um the best things about Rafinha would be in a counter attack he'd be able to pass you. To give you a great pass when you need it for Lewandowski or for Gavi or for whoever is, is or for Ansu when he came in, so uh, uh, in, in that sense, the, taking somebody out and bringing somebody with with the similar qualities or or not maybe maybe not as good but good enough where where it's going to give you trouble. Madrid didn't have that when when they took uh, 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 Carvajal and put Nacho in. You know what I mean, like. That's that's the that's basically taking somebody who's who's gonna give you great uh, crosses when he's playing well versus somebody who's just gonna stand there and defend and not be able to give you anything going forward. So uh, uh, those things really helped us. W- where when we took our best players out, we still put it in decent players that can actually hold the game as much as they could. Our uh, Kissier coming in, uh, Roberto. Even though I blame him for that goal, <laughs> but. Uh, um, we were able to hold it together even when we got the, our best players out, uh, which is something mm-hmm. that we, we wouldn't be able to tell, uh, to say, last last year or even in the beginning of the Absolutely. year when we had a lot of the players injured. Uh, like Just to put it in perspective, we had the defensive line that played yesterday, all of them were injured bar uh, um, Balde for, for like a month and a half when we were going through a rough time in the, in the Champions League. So imagine that. If we if we had those players that we had yesterday in, that, in those difficult moments, we'll be having a completely different conversation when it comes to the season. So, uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's of course, unfortunate that, that at, at, this, at that stage well, back then, um, Araujo and Kunde uh, were not available. Christensen also. Oh, I yeah. mean, it was, it was very, very unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it, we need to uh, be able to compensate that, and I think, and that's in in that regard, we can absolutely and clearly say uh, that Garcia is not of that quality. N- no, um, he's we not. We're well, not yet, anyway. Put it that way. Yeah. Maybe he'll improve. Yeah. At this point, yeah. he's not star star quality. Yeah. yeah, because if we we're talking about uh, Araujo. Um, Kunde, Christians, and, and even Alonso, all of them are clear. Yeah, clear, clearly ahead of him. Yeah. I mean, it's not a competition. Uh, he he he's not uh, he's not even second choice in my. Opinion. No, he's not. I mean, he wouldn't be second choice unless unless we need it. Unless uh, like like, yeah. like he's, he'll play in the Co- in the Copa, I think, uh, on Thursday. But like when it comes to matches that's gonna matter, um, he's he's not. He's not going to be yeah. first or second. And it's not, and I absolutely, and I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, uh, uh, it's not him uh, that he, he's not talented in any way. I think he has great ball distribution. He's absolutely technical. He's a fine player, but his defending is lacking a lot. Right. And as a defender, that's that's basically your bread and butter. So right. you can have some great, great uh, um, plays um, in the front and, and having great ball distribution. But if you absolutely suck uh, defending, then that's a big problem. So, yeah. um, of course, of course, uh, we, we need to uh, keep every player happy at this point. So, like I said, he, he's probably going to play in, in the Copa. Um, but I think uh, Xavi needs to uh, be very wary and 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 uh, bring with him as as much players as he needs because uh, sometimes these things can go south and become really really difficult. No, I agree. So, I agree. I agree. Uh, yeah, and it's. I mean the the the. 
the match ended, uh, uh, and like you could see, you could see uh, uh, Stegen was really, really upset, or he was yelling at everybody when he yeah, got scored. Yeah, exactly. The, the body. <laughs> he really language. wanted that clean sheet. Yeah. Yeah, and the body language is absolutely amazing, that, and yeah. that's something that all that that is also very, very positive. I mean, not even not even Ter Stegen, because that was, of course, you are a goalkeeper. You want to keep the clean sheet, and you yeah. had a great game, basically. Uh, he he was um, he had that one scene with uh, with uh, Rodrigo I think where he uh, uh, needed to take off Erte Stegen ready to take off um, yeah. so uh, that that was one scene but other than that there was basically nada nothing and um, um, uh, I don't I don't know if you saw the the, the clip. When um, uh, Busquets plays uh, to Araujo, Araujo plays to Busquets, and Busquets to Kunde, and Kunde plays an amazing ball back to uh, Busquets. Instead yeah, of in the Araujo. middle. Yes, in the middle. And Araujo yeah. is absolutely amped up because of that amazing yeah. pass <laughs> to, from from Kunde, and that's body language. That's absolutely yeah. amazing. If you know. I can I can count on that guy. He he he's doing the right decisions. And Kunde is an intelligent player. I mean, yeah. uh, there was there was a similar scene where you can see that that as much intelligence as and and we are not going because I'm notoriously known for thrashing our legends. That's that's me. <laughs> but I do love our legends. I love PK. Uh, Prime PK is, is for me one of the best defenders to ever grace. Uh, the football field, um, and I love Busquets. He he he's uh, the Rolls Royce under the the the, the uh, defending midfielders. He he was at his prime. He was the one that you don't see, but you know he's controlling the game. So right. um, absolutely amazing. Uh, but age is catching up, and you can you can see that in in one scene we had like. Like uh, uh, I don't know. The ball came in. There were some some little skirmishes in our uh, in our area, and the ball was in the box. And Kunde had the ball, and he knew if he placed the ball to the front, they would immediately get the ball, get the back. ball back. And yeah. he played it to the side, but. Busquets was not as fast thinking, and he needed to make a run and of course he's not as fast and had to stretch to put it to the to the sidelines and that's something if he would have understood that he that Kunde was not able to pass the ball to the front oh yeah I think I know the one it was close to the goal to the right side yes 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 yes. yeah I remember that in our box it was basically in our box yeah yeah and yeah, that's... You, could, you could see how what what a vision Kunde is absolutely he's an intelligent player. He knows he knows when to pass the ball and where to pass it, and that's exactly what we need. And you could see that Araujo and Kunde they they absolutely function together. They function yeah, it's together. it's it's perfect. Like it doesn't matter who plays on the right or in the yeah, in, and, in and the, they can the switch. Back. And that's yeah, that that is putting putting uh, opponents off because they don't know how to react. Right, yeah, yeah, and that's. And I think that's something that uh, 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 when people saw the lineup, people that don't watch us, uh, don't watch us a lot, would think that uh, Kunde is gonna play right back there. But we we knew when we saw the lineup. Okay, so Araujo yeah, is gonna take on Vini- Vini. Is going Yeah, he's gonna take Vinicius. Yeah, yeah. So like, uh, uh, the, it was it was just amazing to see again just to get <laughs> really getting bullied uh throughout the whole thing and i think and i think a lot of the players now not just for from our barca uh players but any player that plays against vinicius now knows that if they irritated him enough they'll throw him off his game he, he'll he start making mistakes he'll try to take on everybody and loses the ball when he when he gets uncomfortable or gets uh, uh, um bullied a lot he he loses his focus and that's exactly. we saw and that. That's exactly in in every time Madrid plays, uh, because that's basically their blueprint. Vinicius yeah. is their blueprint. We can yeah. we we know that we are not. <laughs> we will never uh, be too fond of Madrid, but we gotta we, we gotta commend them 
on on uh, on on the uh, evolution that Vinicius had. He, he's a good oh, he's, player. They use so, him really well. Yeah, yeah, and he's he's fast. He can dribble. And even if if and I still think that his his um, his um, shots and 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 uh, goal conversion rate is uh, is not never, is not there never. yet to be world class. In in my opinion, he's a world class dribbler world class um uh, when it comes to pace and uh, he, he he can but he can assist so his assists are notorious but you could say the same I, i'm i i keep on forgetting the name of that guy uh Villarreal, um the, the black guy on the right side he was he was equally bullying vinicius and that's why they won because he was absolutely amazing in that game I forgot his name. Something with a K. I don't know. A great guy. <laughs> Playing yeah. absolutely an amazing match. You can go back and watch that match and just focus on him. He was absolutely bullied. And you need somebody who's physical, um, stronger than Vinicius. Because even if he is faster, you can just put put your body between between him and the ball and he, he won't have a chance. Because while he's, he's strong... He's not the biggest guy, so of course you are going to have uh, uh, a uh, a plus side on, on on that front if you have somebody that is fast and strong as Araujo. He was absolutely bullying um, uh, Vinicius on that side. Absolutely amazing to watch, and it's not the first time. I, mean, I think he, every, he yeah, every time Araujo played, they. <laughs> We saw last last year uh, in the four zero. He he didn't do anything. Like yeah. he, same thing. Same thing. Every time we try to pass, he either got pushed over, or just completely just took the ball away from him without even following him. So it was just uh, it was just awesome to see it again happening. And I think that's gonna play a lot on his psyche playing against them again uh, later on in the camp. No, when we play him uh, in the in, Liga in March, it's yeah, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be in his. Especially if and if Araujo plays in the same position, Vinny's gonna have that mental block where he's gonna get pushed over again by by Araujo. So having that is gonna throw him off game. Hopefully, throw throw him off off his game. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean it, the game, the whole match was just something that we we really wanted to see going back into La Liga again and go back to, to Europa playing against United because we were worried <laughs> seeing United playing really well and then seeing us. Mm-hmm. Still trying to pick our rhythm still back going up. It's going to be a different game, and it will be. But yeah. but like it gives us that that uh, at least a little bit of assurance that we can play this way when we play against a really top team. We can yeah. turn we, it up we when need, we, we, need we to play really turn well. Turn up against against uh, Manchester United. I mean, it's it's two legs, so a lot of things can happen. Mm-hmm. And until then, even though it's not it's not too far off, it's still. Uh, in three weeks, four weeks, you can you can still a lot of things can happen, injuries and stuff on our side. So we need to keep keep being focused and keep our best players healthy and fit. Yeah. So we have the options that that we had in this game because everybody was basically available. Even the the players that don't play that much, like like Memphis. We we could have thrown in Memphis. We can we could throw throw in Ferran. All yeah. these guys. I mean, uh, there are there are quality players on the best day. I mean, we saw Ferran in in the uh, Classico last year. Uh, last he played season. well, yeah. Uh, he, he he performed well, and uh, unfortunately, we don't have the luxury putting on Aubameyang. I think it was still a mistake to let him go. Um, yeah. But no, I would say. I would say a mistake was more of a great opportunity not, not to pass up. Like if if we if we didn't have to do it, like and I don't think we had any plans to sell him. But if somebody comes in like, hey, you got this guy for free, but we can pay you this amount of money to take him, and he's gonna be a backup anyway to, to Lewandowski. Mm. It's a very very hard decision to do, uh, especially if you're strapped in for no, money. I'm you, not, you no, need I understand. But so I think he could have added more. Oh, of than, course, he uh, he was Memphis, quality for us. Not yeah. because Memphis has no quality, but because Memphis doesn't get those chances. To be honest, 
he I mean even in this three we were three nil up and he he didn't came in so it's basically uh, the only one that that uh, is uh basically even <laughs> even less used to was in Hazar that guy is absolutely <laughs> finished that guy is absolutely finished man. I went and, and see I him yesterday at least Hazard. throw him in in the end or something he should have put him in yesterday in the last few minutes just to see what he does. Nah, I mean, that's, that's disrespectful, man. <laughs> that's disrespectful, man. Nah. Why? I mean, are you paying him the, he he has... huge wages? Yeah, but I, I don't think... I think he, he, he he's basically done. So, he, he just... He won the, the, the league title. He won the Champions League without doing basically anything. So, I think he's good. I think after the season, he's going to leave. Yeah, he, he's, I mean, he has but to. I right? don't care. It, it's it's not our problem. It's fun. I know, it's just it's just funny to to think about. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> I mean, we had <laughs> our we had guy. our issues. We had ours yeah, with Griezmann with Coutinho. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we had yeah, ours. <laughs> we have basically we have no room to talk. But it's funny yeah, to see yeah. that it happens to other uh, twice mm-hmm. ba- bail last year when he didn't do shit and he just yeah, but bail. Uh, we could argue he, he paid his dues. Yeah, yeah, he paid his dues. I mean, yeah. Prime Bale was absolutely amazing. It was fucking amazing, yeah. yeah. But but anyway, yeah. So the, the, if you had to if you had to say your man of the match, who would that be? I mean, it's obvious, but Gavi. Anyway. it's obviously yeah. Gavi. There's <laughs> obviously, no, yeah. there's no. We could we could just act like there is somebody who's played a big role and has a. But it's Gavi. Gavi was absolutely amazing in the back, in the front, in the middle. He was He's, everywhere, man. I, 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 think, I feel like he was a joker. I, I think I feel like he was just moving around the whole everywhere. Like he didn't have a specific and I role. I think I think that role that he's playing that he played in that game fits him. Yeah, is exactly what we need. I, yeah. I don't think we need a third third forward. I think we should always play with Gavi in the front. I agree. He, he, uh, he's not. He's not selfish. He's not going to try to score himself. He sees you in a great position, and he's going to give he you the ball. Do, I think yeah. he, should, he should try more because he's good. He's good. Well, at, he is, yeah. I think he's yeah. better better even than Dembele when it comes to, to uh, converting. Yeah. Well, not just he converting. Knowing, knowing what to, whether to pass or to dribble or to bring it back. Those decision, or decisions. Shoot. Yeah, or to shoot. Yeah. yeah, those decisions that usually it takes years for players to actually – uh, get you know know exactly what to do dude has it at 18 it's 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 incredible Absolutely. like like i don't even know how high he can go and and even chavi yesterday he said that uh gavi doesn't have we don't know what his ceiling is he doesn't have a ceiling so that's something coming from the 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 um uh, coach itself himself is is a great compliment you know so it's it's uh it's, it's just fantastic I that mean, we have him and he, Pedri. It's, he it's watches him day to day, so he knows. Yeah, he knows uh, that that he he's probably not, and he he can't be at his ceiling at eighteen. So God knows where where he will take this talent, and I think I think he should he should play that role, uh, uh and maybe even become become something some sort of a forward because he he clearly has the talent and he clearly has uh, the the pace and stamina to do it all he yeah. absolutely has the talent and the stamina and 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 the the pace to become a great forward i i, I mean i i agree and i i and, and i agree with you too and i hope that javi does this uh, more where he gives in giving him a, a, a fr- more of a, of a free role to to Attack, go forward, stay in the middle with Pedre, connect with Pedre, connect with Lewandowski, connect with Balde when yeah. you need to. All those connections that he was doing throughout the whole thing. I, I don't even think they knew how to handle it. I don't think the, the midfield uh, of Cruz who was uh, playing CDM, which was terrible at it for some reason. Um, they didn't know what to do. They, wouldn't, they didn't know who to, who, to, who to go to, whether to, 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 to try to close in on Pedre or Gavi or Frankie, who was basically uh, dictating that 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 side to, who to pass to he he they didn't know who who to follow who who to press on and that's that's evident in the second goal even in the first in the first goal you'd say yeah but in the second goal is even more clear because he was by himself nobody even 
knew to go and try to close in on on Gavi. Just left him by himself, and they all moved into the to the ball, forgetting that Gavi's right there. So, th- and I think that's what Xavi was banking on is uh, throwing him off the game, not knowing exactly what the game plan is for Gavi, and knowing how aggressive and how uh, uh, direct he is when it, when he has the ball. That that, that completely came, th- that threw him basically, off. Basically, that goal came from from them having that man to man marking. They had yeah. man to man marking. And um, Kroos was uh, assigned to Busquets. If you see clearly, um, uh, Kroos was assigned to Busquets, and he had he had he reacted way 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 too slow, because when Busquets had the ball, he saw the space between between um, uh, Frank de Jong, Kamavinga, and and Carvajal, and Carvajal tried to press. Um, De Jong. And Kamavinga, Kamavinga was basically in the nothingness because he he had an abysmal game, by the way. Yeah. Um, and you could you could see that once uh, Kamavinga and 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 uh, Carvajal uh, attacked and Frankie put in that touch, there was nobody because nobody that, there. That, yeah. that was basically Carvajal's uh, spot to uh, to mark. Right. But it was a a master a master uh, master class by Xavi, and I'm going to say this, and you know that I'm not uh, <laughs> that, that that it's not that easy to to uh, say. say uh, I know that. I know you you had you had your your sword ready just in case we lose. Start chopping up Xavi to pieces. <laughs> but I, I was fair to to be fair. I was fair. I, I said I said uh, if if it pans out. It's it's uh, it, it's definitely uh, it was not a, a, a shitty lineup. Other than yeah. I didn't understand why Busquets was was there, but if the the way they played, I understood it because yeah. we we needed to once again overcrowd the midfield and having that threat. And the, the genius of it was that Gavi played like a forward. It wasn't yeah. just for standing in the middle trying to pass the ball around because that sometimes happens with Barcelona as well we just yeah. pass the ball around have like 80 uh, percent ball possession but nothing comes comes when it no like the the Sp- Spanish say verte, verte quilidad, just put the the ball forward and we forward, had those yeah, passes yeah. In front and, and we penetrated their their defense like Nothing else. They they didn't know which one to which player to to guard, which which player to to ignore. It was absolutely amazing, and you always had that threat with Dembele. He he can run past you easily, easily. If Mendy was was way way in the front, nobody stands a chance. You think Carvajal or or uh, Militao stand a chance in 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 a, uh, <laughs> a foot race. In a sprint. It's not yeah. going to happen, and and that's that's, that's what threw them off. And Dembele wasn't even threatening because we yeah had he. Threatening. I feel like that was his job is just to to, to keep that that that, uh, that uh, side occupied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that works. Amazing, works. amazing, tactically absolutely amazing by Xavi. Right. I applaud that. I, th- I think it helped too that that uh, their their uh, midfield is is aging is older. So the the, re- the their uh, initial reaction to 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 either defending or attacking versus versus our kids is 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 completely different. And and that's I think that's the reason why one of the reason why Chavi wanted to crowd them midfield because we 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 will outrun them and and basically be more uh, um faster in in, in in moving the ball forward than them because of that. So, so just the way they, they everything was lined up, how Xavi lined everything up, was yeah, was very, 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 very good. Like he Beautiful. exploited exploited their weaknesses really, really well. Beautiful, and it's also beautiful. I don't, I don't know if you watched it, uh, if you saw that uh, Luis Suarez tweeted, Kunagüero uh, tweeted. No, I didn't. They are, I didn't. What did they, they say? They are coolers for real. Their heart are still with uh, with Barca, and of course, 
uh, that's that's beautiful to to see and watch. And I think it it, it give just the mentality that, like you said, like you broke. It's uh, it's a mentality boost. And seeing everybody still believes in this club, and I think we we deserve a little bit of of of, of that uh, beautiful moment uh, because uh, God knows we suffered a lot. Really, uh, the last, last couple uh, seasons were. <laughs> Stressful as hell. And hopefully, and hopefully, this is a turning point. I mean, yeah. we always, and I can see that last season in January, uh, even the Super Copa, we we played, we were close, we played good. Yeah. yeah, we played good. It was overtime. Uh, I think Valverde scored that third one, um, yeah. and and they they they've uh, moved on to the finals. But it is what it is. This time we had the better, uh, the better, and in, in our case it wasn't even luck. We just played better. We had we had the better game plan. We had the better tactics. We had the better players. We had the better pace. We had everything was simply better, and we deserved that win. It is what it is. And that summarizes our our episode. Really, <laughs> we dominated, and that's it. That's 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 the game. That's, uh, that's and, it. And Evans, you want to add before we wrap it up something you want to comment on? Maybe something that you didn't like within the game? Or I, mean, I know that it's no, no. I'm I'm, I'm not going to criticize anything. I think even even uh, when the subs came on, uh, that the game didn't fell apart, or at least I didn't have the feeling uh, that it that we're gonna fall apart yeah. in in some way, so that it was somehow close for them to get. To two goals or three goals, it wasn't. It was absolutely amazing to watch. I think uh, uh, that that is the thing that we should build upon. So just keep keep this and maybe even add to it. Have even more uh, confidence, and I think uh, we are on the right track if we keep on. And and uh, of course, every single match is different. We will have matches where. Because Madrid always tries to play. Of course, like I said, they had at sometimes they had five, uh, five defenders at the back, and yeah. and even four in front of them. So they were defending real, 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 real hard. But we will have some teams that are even will stay even deeper than that. Park the bus, yeah. and we need to have answers for that. I think that's going to be the, ma the major thing is the ones that park the bus. Because the ones that play, come out to play, we we usually do well against those. It's the ones that park the bus and exploit us in one chance and score. Those are the ones that we, get, we have a hard time mm -hmm. with the most. Uh, so, yeah, but yeah, we need I, to I, find some solutions for that. We as do, well. yeah, and I think, of course. And I think this is, uh, this is, that was a great way to show that we can play against top teams. And now let's watch them play on Thursday against a team that is definitely not a top team. Um, and I hope the the guys, the, of course, there, there there will be some changes, and some guys will uh, get their well earned rest. Um, it is, uh, it, but it, it still, I think some some uh, some players that played uh, yesterday are going to play as well on Thursday. And uh, hopefully they they can add to it. Don't don't make it uh, don't make it like like uh, last time. It was that that is unnecessary. That was stressful. We need to yeah. win those games <laughs> uh, clear and with a with confidence. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Um, all right, so I think I think uh, that should be that should be it for today. Um, Thank you guys for listening, for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the match. I hope you guys were are confident we can do well this this for the rest of the season. I think we will have some some great matches still and have some great results uh, by the end of the season. Our first trophy of the year, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean really nothing. It's we a need small to stick trophy. It going. It's, a, it's still it's, a small it's still trophy. A, it's a trophy, but it's it's eh, it's barely a trophy. <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's not prestigious. Well, no, what makes it sweet is how we want it, and that's necessarily what what we want. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, that's it, what... Basically, it, it it was more about the the winning the, the classical than and yeah, the yeah. classical and having that 
opponent. I think if we've played Betis and we've uh, meh, yeah, meh. I would, yeah. I mean, it's not the trophy, really. It's how we want it. It's it's if if we yeah. if we lost against uh, uh, Betis in the final, I don't think people will freak the hell out. Or if we was, lost against Betis, like you said, in the semifinal, nobody's gonna care. Uh, but have it I mean, even, being it, against Madrid. I'm is, not is Betis, what? Excuse me, I'm not even talking about Betis. Uh, uh, my mistake, Valencia. I mean, if Valencia would have won. Oh, Valencia won. Final, yeah, I would. And we would, would have won, won against Valencia. Right. Who cares? Right, no right, respect to Valencia, but you know what I mean. So it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not yeah, yeah. something that we. Uh, and I think the majority of people will will be will agree that it's what makes it uh, important right now for us is that we won against Madrid, and it's uh, it gave us a, some kind of a celebration for us to give us more confidence and, and give us a moral boost exactly. for, for the rest of the season. That's 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 what the takeaway from this really. Uh, so. All right. Th- thank you, everybody, for listening and watching. Uh, check us out on Spotify and every um, podcast uh, platform you guys you choose to listen uh, to. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like the video and share if you want to, and we appreciate it. So thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you again on the next one. Thank you. Peace.